Hey folks, Captain Dave here in the Wolf Den. I'm doing this video because of the fact that I had a pure irritation. I watch a lot of YouTube. The funny thing is, is I'm watching uh, YouTube and you know how the different videos pop up along the sides. And for some reason, I don't know, I was looking at jigs or something like that. A whole bunch of videos pop up along the side, so I start watching them. And I realize there is a huge difference between these saltwater bass fishermen. That's what I call them. Saltwater bass fishermen. And me. I just don't get it. What I'm talking about here is, you know, when I buy jigs, I'm buying jigs because most of the time at the jetties, we burn them like cordwood. I mean, we just burn right through them. Here is a new pile of jigs that I use. They got that gold eagle claw hook. They're half ounce round ball heads. And we put shrimp on them. Now, I've got packs. These are supposedly half ounce. I never have put them on a little digital scale or anything. Uh, I got bags of three eighths. I got bags of quarters. According to the current, you may have seen a video I did uh, about a week or so ago where we dropped anchor one time all day. Seven-eighths of the day, we did nothing but use this jig. Half ounce with the gold hook. And here I am, I'm watching these guys talking about jigs. The saltwater bass fishermen is what I refer to. And they're talking about using jigs and showing the hooks. And, and I swear to God... They're using, which I don't even own any here, or I would show you. This is my, my jig box sitting right here. But they're using a maybe 3 8 ounce or half ounce or quarter ounce or whatever jig. And it's got a hook on it like this big old Spro 2 ouncer has. But it's just a little ball head jig. And it's got this ginormous, heavy, oh my god, heavy hook. Which this thing is made... For big fish offshore even. The Spro Jig. And it's got this giant hook. Now maybe in the camera right here you can't actually see the difference. But I'm holding it up right there so you can kind of. They're using jigs like this. I mean still all super fancy painted and all this. With hooks. They're using a jig like this with hooks like that. I don't get it. They did talk about the... Uh, the wire diameter, and you don't need that. I don't know, that's that bass fishing mentality again. I mean, what was it just two weeks ago? We had probably a close to a 100 pound tarpon on that for two hours. I had a video of the guy sitting on the bow of the boat while we were fighting the thing. On that, same exact thing with a shrimp on it. You want more proof? Uh, go to Addictive Fishing. And look at Blair Wiggins' channel on YouTube. Or if you remember watching the show, him out fishing with uh, Mark Nichols of DOA Lures. Mark Nichols makes uh, the DOA shrimp and the little lure called the Terror Eyes. Right? That Terror Eyes, that little lure, that little soft plastic lure ain't but that big. And it's got like a lead head with a soft plastic body over it. And it's got that hook. And they're sitting in the keys. And they got tarping on, running them around the bridge pilings with that hook. You don't need all, I don't just, you don't need these gigantic hooks. I went to many a seminar uh, years ago. There's guys talking about the same thing that I saw in these YouTube videos. Jig fishing, soft plastics, live, and just jigs in general. They're doing the same thing. They're holding up these, these lead head jigs that might look like, like that. Right? I mean, kind of fancy with the, with the eyes on them and everything. But, these jigs have a hook on them like that. You can't, I'm sure you probably can't see the wire diameter of this thing. But, that right there will catch, you know, a 20 pound grouper. Let alone a damn trout. I've sat through these seminars before and I've seen all this. And I'm sitting in the back going, what the hell? Alright, if you've been on my boat, you know... There's my favorite little hook right there, that Matsuo sickle bend. I think this is a, maybe a two-odd hook. 25, 30-pound redfish on that. So why the hell, when I'm jig fishing, do I need a hook any bigger? 
this hook is bigger. There ain't nothing I can do about it. That's the hook it comes with. But I'm bottom fishing with a piece of croaker or something with that hook, and I'm putting a shrimp on this or even a soft plastic. You know, back in the day, and I'll maybe I'll put a link below if I can find it, of the video where me and a friend of mine are out just goofing around. We're at the jetties. This is before braided line, before super braid. And I think we're fishing 10 pound mono or eight pound mono, catching one oversized redfish after another on light wire jig heads, light wire. I would assume that it would be the same exact jig heads you'd be maybe bass fishing with in a pond, fishing for crappies or something like that. And I mean, we're catching the hell out of fish and we don't have no big ass, we don't have no big ass hook like that. You don't need it. What the hell? Oh my God. All you're doing is spending more money. But the point I'm trying to make here is you don't need that hook. I don't know why anybody needs some something with a hook on it like that. I mean, not when I'm in the St. John's River or the Mayport Jetties and that right there is catching everything. When I was talking about when before there was even braided line, you know, yes, with braided line, I stepped up, I stepped up my diameter of wire on my jig head. Okay, now that's a pretty stout hook right there on that little sort of bullet head. And I tend to not use it. That's a pretty stout hook. Very large kind of hook. Um, people talk about presentation. Presentation, presentation, presentation. Yeah, presentation. Oh, how hard the rod, or how heavy the rod has to be just to set the hook. I don't know. That's that bass fishing thing again. I'll use, when I'm throwing a jig, I'll use one of two rods. I'll use a really soft rod because I got mono on it. And I'll use a little heavier rod because I got braid on it. I think what it boils down to, if you are up in the river and you're up in the creeks and you're up there doing this and you're tournament fishing and all this stuff, you are. You're a saltwater bass fisherman type. If you're sitting in a 26-foot boat in four-foot seas at the end of the uh, South Jetty in February, and you're catching trout one after another on them right there and redfish, on a soft plastic even, on that little jig head, on this little jig head, it's obvious you're not, ba you're not pretending to be a bass fisherman. That's all I'm trying to say is... That holds a tarpon. So do you need when a, a hook like that when you're catching a trout or redfish or a flounder? Get out of here. So redfish. You know, a guy asked me the other day, what's so great about redfish? Redfish, redfish, redfish. I said, to tell you the truth, I don't know because I just as soon catch trout. And I just as soon put their asses in the box, fillet them, and have them hit the damn oil in a black iron skillet uh, when they're thrown around in some satyrans. So, I mean, that's just me. I catch trout because I eat trout. But remember this too. That has caught numerous 25-pound redfish, 30-pound redfish. That hook right there. So, I'll leave that with you. When it comes to jigs, watch your hook size. Especially if you're, you know, you're fishing relatively light tackle like you're supposed to, maybe. I don't know if you call what I fish light. You know, I'm fishing the ugly stick, uh... Ugly Stick Tiger Light Rods, which are a jigging type rod with a bait caster with 30, maybe 50 pound braid on it. And then from the braid, I'll make a uh, probably about a six foot liter of like just 20 pound mono because I want it to be sacrificial. Just like when we're float rig fishing, you get stuck in the bottom. I want to be able to go boom, 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 and I want to get rid of that jig, bring it back, tie on another. It's all about speed, too. I see some of the jigs. I mean, you can go to Walmart, and they got jigs in there that are painted and everything. They got these enormous hooks on them. And I could take that same son of a bitch out there, and we could be catching a 150-pound shark on that. Same exact jig head. So I don't get it. What really puts it, if you don't believe me, we got a video, like I said, just, what, two weeks ago? We had... Big old tarpon on. He finally broke us off in the jetty rocks. But he was on this. He was on this, no problem. Gonna bag up. 
a whole bunch of these new gold hook half ounces. At least that's what the package says. Because that's all I need to catch a fish at the jetties. The old saying at the jetties for me, if you ain't bumping a rock and if you ain't touching the bottom, you'll never catch a fish. Alright, thanks for watching. Thank you.